Sui Lad Malonaman. I'm Lunatics Delight, and welcome back to Cinders. Going out on an adventure after having a very interesting discussion with. <sighs> wow, her name just slipped my mind. The older sister, whatever her name is. Hello there, Hall. Let's see what new surprises you have in store for me today. Because I have to warn you, after the conversation I just had, I'm hard to impress. Hello there, early bird. Alright, you're... Only old surprises, apparently. You really should try harder next time, Hall. <laughs> Having a conversation with a room? How bizarrely refreshing. It's good to see you too, Sophia. Now, I never thought I'd say something like this, but here it goes. Carmosa was right. Too much reading does make you crazy. <laughs> but evidently, it also makes you interesting. At least interesting enough to make me eternally... To make my eternally uptight sister sneak into your room when she thought I wasn't looking. What? But eventually it makes you also interesting. At least interesting enough to make you eternally... Make my eternally uptight sister sneak into your room when she thought I wasn't looking. I seriously doubt she's that naive. Doesn't matter. The real question is, what did she want from you? Well, I wouldn't consider that sneaking into my room if she's just coming in there to talk to me, which was that previous discussion we just had. So, alright then. Did she come to ask for help? So many hours without the chance to struggle for Cremosa's approval, must have left the poor girl quite disturbed. Oh, oh, her name's Gloria. Why could I not remember that? I was literally just talking to her. <sighs> oh, you know our Gloria. A true stronghold of independence. A fault of wisdom. I take it she came to spread her usual Carmosian propaganda. I like that. Carmosian propaganda. Amongst the little ones. Only to meet with steadfast resistance of the people. We will not be silenced, shouted the crowds. <laughs> oh my, it must have been quite the display. Did the guards intervene? If you're asking if there was any violence, then yes, plenty. The streets and squares practically turned red. Oh, how lovely. Was she hurt? Did you slap her? Um, no. I think that would have been going a bit too far, don't you think? My dear simple sister, who can really say? Such things tend to be relative, you know. One man's hero is criminal to someone else. It's simply too complex for a girl like me to decide. So when it comes to Gloria, I don't analyze and stick to the golden rule. Violence is always the answer. <laughs> really? I see. I think you've given me a bit too much information there, Sophia. <laughs> oh, you're such a child sometimes. In case you didn't notice, we're living in the middle of a dangerous and unforgiving forest. This place is packed with wild, bloodthirsty predators. And whether we choose to see them or not, they exist. What a lovely thought. I will think about it on my trip through the woods today. Oh, you're going out again? I have to eat something first, but yes, I'm going out. Why? Um, I was just wondering if you will... What is it, Sophia? Are you blushing? Don't be ridiculous. Of course I'm not blushing. I was just thinking that maybe you could use some company. Oh, she wants to come with me. That's interesting. You want to leave the house? Yes. Is that a crime? Dear Sophia, no. Not in my book. Of course I'd love to go with you. But a lot is happening now, and I wanted to have some time to think alone. I'm really sorry. Maybe some other time? When Carbosa is back? Right. I'll get back to my room and stay there then. Forever. Don't be like that. I'm really sorry. You just caught me by surprise, and I don't really want to go out with you. Wait, what? Don't be like that. I'm really sorry. You just caught me by surprise, but I really would want to go out with you whenever we get the next chance. Yes, yes, I understand. Go then, and have fun doing your secret stuff. Thanks, I will. I'll see you in the evening. Sorry again. Alright, where am I allowed to go this time? Just the town? Okay. I am beginning to wonder how long this game is going to be. 
I didn't think this would be this long, but I'm kind of glad it's got some substance to it. But, like, when are we going to get the invite to go to this ball that the prince is throwing? Another day of freedom I can spend on the town. There's always something going on here. Even now, I see some commotion in the street. I wonder what it's about. Ooh, jeez. The moment I saw my cow die, I knew it. It was those evil beads of yours that did it. Oh, surely, yes. Some beads that a woman wears has, has killed a cow. Whatever shall we do? What are you talking about, woman? My poor Molly has died, and she was in so much pain for days. She mooed like she has never mooed before. It was almost like moaning or crying. It was your fault. I've seen those bad omens. I've seen the bad omens. My poor Molly moaning and the odor she her wretched body made. Wow, why can't being able to read would greatly help in a visual novel. <sighs> My poor Molly moaning and the odor her wrecked body made. It must have been your curse, witch. Cows smell on their own, and your Molly didn't need my help in that department. You might not have noticed because you only bathe occasionally. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Zing. My poor Molly is dead, lifeless as a clump of mud on the street, and the heartless witch that you are dared to jest about it. I knew it was your doing, you wretched. I'm laughing because there is little else to do. How else should I react to your stupidity? You want someone to blame? I told you to come see me so I could take a look at your bloody cow and heal it, but did you listen? No. The animal's pain was not enough reason to spare a few coins. But I did bring her to you. When it was terminal, before that you said, It is for fate to decide what happens. So when it's your responsibility, you leave it to fate. And who would have guessed? It doesn't work out well. But you said the cow would die, and she did. I said it would die if you didn't take care of it. Fate certainly won't. The damn cow was seriously ill, and you could see that for yourself. You only came to me when it couldn't move anymore. That is when you finally realize that trusting to fate isn't effective. Well, too late. So you're just searching for someone else to take your blame. Your Molly died because of your stupidity. Oh, but she didn't die until you looked at her, you witch. The whole town knows your bad news. You're not welcome here. Shut up, or else I'll turn you into a frog or a cow to compensate for your loss. What's going on here? Oh, hi, Peralt. Looking handsome as ever, I see. Oh, good captain, please arrest this evil witch for killing my poor Molly with her evil eye and her devilish beads. She has... Molly. My poor cow. She was so kind and helpful and... Is there any truth to what she accuses you of? I'm not even going to dignify that foolishness with an answer. If this idiot doesn't want to take responsibility for her own actions, fine. But leave me out of this. Alright then. My dear lady, I'm going to have to ask you to go home and wait till I sort this out. But, I will make it my responsibility to sort this out. Now please go home and do not pursue this matter on your own. Do you understand? Yes, yes, I do. Fine. I do apologize for this woman's behavior, and I hope you have not been bothered by this. You know how the townspeople are when they feel hurt or helpless. Oh, I do know. They blame the wicked witch sometimes with the help of torches and pitchforks. I hope, however, that you realize that you are welcome here. These are good people. They just get carried away sometimes. However, they have grown to expect you to be always... expect you to always be able to bail them out of their problems. For generations they did that. And all of the old noble professions... Yours... And of all the old noble professions, yours is still needed. Oh yes, I am so needed that you had to intervene. How many times has it been now? Them blaming me for their own stupidity. This t 
town sure has a strange way of showing appreciation. It might be time to move on now. Now surely you don't mean that. Just yesterday, this young woman told everyone in the inn how much you helped her and... Sure. A grateful lady nobody listens to one day. Insult, blame, and pitchforks the next. That seems like a good cue to leave. You have good reasons to be angry. Oh, just give me some time, please. I need to think. Someone in this town should, anyway. Fine. I will not press you on this further. You will do as you see fit, like you always do. Until next time, madam. Keep warm and away from those idiots. Farewell, Captain. What happened here, exactly? People are strange here. Illogical and stupid. They just sit and demand. Do nothing and hope. Morons. The time has come for me to change the scenery. What did they do? Oh, nothing spectacular. Just more of the usual. People come to me. For medicine, for advice, for a solution to every stupid problem they've created. They still fear me, though. And every time something goes wrong, they blame me. They used to blame the devil evil forces. Now the evil forces live next door, ready for those morons to blame. Surely the townsfolk do not mean that. They seem to respect you a lot. There is a very thin line between respect and fear. It happens in every single town I travel to. However, it takes time for the resentment to build up, so a new town should be more friendly. But you have friends here. Just a second ago, I thought I saw you speaking with the captain on a very familiar and, and mostly friendly terms. Oh, we do have some history together, but do not let me bore you with the details. Oh, go ahead, please. Your curiosity is commendable. But let's discuss thing But let's discuss something of more importance. Have you given any thought to our last conversation? Not yet. I haven't had the time to Good. That means I don't have to give any more advice right now. So take your time, Cinders, and come to me when you've decided. Just don't wait too long, because I intend to leave this damn town soon, and I will not look back. Thank you. I will take time to consider and decide soon. You do that. Goodbye, child. Goodbye. That woman really got to her. Who would have thought? Tough, cynical Madame Gahiti, whose wraith can move mountains touched by a simple... Whose wrath can move mountains touched by a simple townswoman's remark. I'll have to consider that side of her. Vulnerable. And so human. But right now I have a whole day of freedom to plan as I will. What should I do now? Maybe to pay Tobias a visit again? Especially after last night. I guess I could drop by and see how he's doing. Just an innocent meetup with two old friends. Hmm. Tobias deserves another visit, especially as Kermosa is getting back tomorrow and it may be hard to see each other again. Oh, I don't get a choice in the matter? Well, shoot. <laughs> Hello there, Mr. Merchant. Hello, Cinders. What brings you to my humble establishment? By all means, you should be in bed at this hour. You had a busy night. I must say, I am impressed by your energy. Oh, something tells me you knew I would stick around and get back to you faster than usual. Such is the principle of a good service of any kind. A satisfied customer always comes back more. Or, because I know what happened, th that's kind of cringy. <laughs> oh, no, this is strangely... Oh, no, this is a strangely appealing way of explaining finances. Now that I made you blush, I can see how pale you are. You look tired, Cinders. Who has time to sleep when there's so much fun to be had? So, how was your day? I'm glad you've asked. Something strange happened that I need to talk about. That, or I'll start wondering if I dreamt it. Oh, did you win the royal lottery? Just as impossible. I actually had a conversation with Gloria. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that it? The unreal thing was that you talked with your sister? So I presume it was something more than a simple exchange of insults? To be honest, I'm not sure what it was myself. But it was different. We were both speaking, and I think this time she was listening. She also said that I'm free to do what I wish today. Now that's just awkward. Would you like to get some herbs? I'm sure she must be ill. I'm serious, Tobias. It may seem like nothing to you, but believe me, those little things that are probably ordinary in normal families, they don't happen in her house. 
Maybe she sees and understands more than you'd like to give her credit for. With all the blindness that comes from her resentness, resentment towards you, she'd have to be a complete fool to not realize that she cannot control you indefinitely. It sounds manipulative and complex, so there's a large chance that it's exactly what made her, or Carmosa, give me a day off. There's also a slight chance of Gloria just trying to be nice to her sister for a change. Do you think that's even poss- Oi! Boss, sir, would you happen to have a new task for your old mate? Now, would you? Gold has a habit of running from your pockets like cats in heat. And your last payment- Oh, bollocks. You! The pretty bird! Now, isn't this a friendly get-together? If I'm a bird, then what does that make you? You certainly have a way of appearing out of the blue anywhere I go. First in the woods, then in my own house, and now here. You must be the most popular person in the whole kingdom. You saw us that night? Now aren't you the busybody lassie? All I did was put two and two together. You aren't exactly immaculate at this undercover business you've got going on. Also, it's not easy to hide from me. In any case, you came just in time. In time to answer my questions and answer them fully. And candidly. Such terrible words come from that pretty mouth. Frankly, Sanders, I'm curious as well. A bit uneasy, but mostly curious. Oh, it's all very simple, really. Two days ago, you came to our house to talk with Carmosa. I want to know what, what... Wait, how do I go back? I forget how to go back. Was that the up button? There. Two days ago, you came to our house to talk with Carmosa. I want to know what was it about. But I've told you it's nothing, nothing big, Lassie. Rumors are made. Rumors are made trade, so you keep your petticoat on. Saul's that was a little gossip for a little coin. Everybody knows that Carmosa only smiles when she learns that she can get something for free. Why would she pay you? Little Missy's sure curious, and so's the old lady. She's even more curious than she is stingy, and so she pays, generously. Very good, my friend, but more clever than I thought. Finding out what kind of information is interests someone like Carmosa. Actually knowing her in the first place. Say, you never told me how exactly did you meet Lady Carmosa. Gossips me trade, and devil take me if I'm given anything for free, because some lassie fanned her lashes. That's all, um, a trade secret. Am I right, boss, sir? <laughs> she does have a point there, and her question certainly piqued my curiosity. I reckon the little bird picked something up all right. Tell her. Nasty business, mates. Nasty ambush. Methinks I'll just run for the door now and call it a day. It's been swell talking. Not a step. As a law-abiding subject of our prince, I'm obligated to report any crime or mischief I know of to the captain and his guard. I'm sure Peralt would be happy to get something solid on you, but suspicious behavior and conspiracy will have to do. I'm sure it's enough to grant you a lovely night in the dungeon. I, I can't believe you'd snitch on your old mate, boss, sir. It's business. Nothing personal, friend. Uh, fine, I'll tell you. But only the m m Missy here will hear it. Bloody hell. Some demon speaks through those red lips. <laughs> Do I have red lips? Mm, sort of. Kind of more of a aw shade of pink, me would think. You must take me for a complete fool if you think I'll let her go along with you so you can flee. It's alright, Tobias. He won't, he won't run, will you, boss? He knows that it would force me to inform the captain, who I just saw a moment ago, right outside the store. Yes, y y yes, Missy, anything you say. Very well. See, I knew we would come to agreement sooner or later. Would you like to step outside and tell me everything, my friend? Yes, Missy, lead on. Are you sure about this, Senators? Well... That's about all the time I have, so we will get to find out his secrets in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!